posting the picture. I kind of altered this picture with paint, but uh, I'm posting it to Facebook. Which I don't really c communicate much on Facebook. It's uh, I just annoy people on Facebook, really. Is there any good American shit? I've said, uh, can anyone tell me what I may be overlooking? Because it appears that either the laws of force and motion are variable, or on a rotating spherical body with gravity as defined, the vector of the two forces predicts a force direction that changes with latitude. Yes, I'm saying that Isaac Newton's own laws of force, motion, and, uh, and what was it again? Mm -hmm. Force, motion, and direction. Direction? Yeah, I think that's it. Direction. Contradict. Contradict is for. Solar model. The solar cosmology? Hmm. How would you word that? They'll know what I'm talking about. He contradict his solar his his own solar model, I should put in there. Okay. Make it clear. You gotta be really clear or the nitpicky people will uh, try and act like you're not making sense. And spherical, there we go. Spherical bodies. Spherical, we'll call them planets this time. Plain ETs. Which, oddly enough, E.T., uh, extraterrestrial, just means more Earth. It doesn't mean a different place. It means from some other part of the Earth, which makes a lot more sense to me. Uh, not that I would know. Here's my picture. Let's see how that there. Sees, as you can see, gravity on. 90 degree right angle to gravity. Well, I just want to just post it and pop it there. I mean, I don't think it gets much simpler than that. How can it? Do, do, do. First one. Alright, let's see that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> if vivity on. Forget about the moon. Here's the axis of rotation, the rotational north and south poles, and the gravity, the direction of gravity is towards the center of mass. So that's all going to be towards the molten core, right, of the dense nickel steel that's churning up heat that's causing volcanoes. <clears throat> um, moving right along the black line's direction of gravity, which is towards the center from any point anywhere on the ball. Now, that's one force that's going down towards the center, as defined. When you spin anything, you get a lateral from axis force that if released, will if you have like a ball on a string and you cut the end of it or you let go of the string, it, it flies tangent 
so it, 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 it doesn't immediately go outwards. It like you know, very veers off into the tangent. And so it only pulls sideways at a 90 degree angle to the axis. Now at the North Pole, the axis is right there. The axis would be, you know, straight below. And so all of the force from any rotation is going to go directly sideways, which is there's water up here on this on this globe and so water having to be at the balance point could not sit on top of a globe that had gravity holding it to it if such a thing existed and if it didn't move if they said it didn't move maybe it would work the earth is a ball and it doesn't move or it doesn't spin at least well any rotation is going to create some sort of force so yeah, that doesn't jive either. If it, it doesn't work, the water would go splish into a big old wave right down to the equator, and then it would go right off into space because the strength of the rotational velocity, they call it, increases with the radius. So the farther you get from the axis, the line of the axis away from that and going around and around the greater the force becomes and you can clearly see that um, at the North Pole you'd be right on the line but if you you know walked uh, to the 45th parallel you'd be on the 45th and the resultant force would be like propelling you what off this direction <laughs> It would still be pulling you sideways, and it would be getting stronger because it's farther from the line of axis, which makes the radius, the distance from the axis, greater and greater. So when all the water got to the equator in the given model that we have now, the heliocentric globe Earth model, the forces themselves, you don't have to go up and, and send up any hot air balloons or, you know, you don't have to go up as any weather balloons, that's what I mean. Or, or put any lasers across lakes even, or, you know, understand any type of math whatsoever. It's completely irrelevant when you simply look at the common sense and everybody knows this is a merry-go-round and this is presumed gravity. You could look at it that way. We've all been on a merry-go-round. You can sit on top of the merry-go-round, you can sit down at the bottom of the merry-go-round, and it pulls you sideways only when it's spinning. And, you know, try and get a bowl of water and stand on a merry-go-round and see what happens. It's all going to go off the side. It, that's showing how easy it is to overcome gravity. The supposed gravity that we have, you can just get on a merry-go-round and, and test both forces. You know, put, pour water on the deck of a flat merry-go-round and then spin it and see if it will stay on there. It won't. Even if you move it barely any speed at all. I mean, it would have to literally be nothing. But uh, anyway, so yeah, there's my video about posting some crap on Facebook. Hopefully somebody can read this and figure it out. I don't know. It seems pretty simple to me. I mean, and a lot of people would say, well, why does it matter? And like, well... Is it not a good idea to have a correct understanding of the laws of force and motion? I mean, if you're science-minded at all, you know, it's not that I, I, you would want to uh, be thinking that your education was a farce and a waste of money and you were lied to. A lot of it's good education, but uh, there's key little points that are apparently some long-standing, deceptive, entity wants to keep the common people in the complete dark about everything not just uh, you know about wars and about what's going on behind closed doors in Hollywood and Washington and London and wherever Dubai but uh, everything everything so anyway there's my video well axis of rotation I'll finish reading 45 degree angle to gravity at the 45th parallel, that's pretty easy, 
I think, to understand. There's a nice big arrow pointing to it for people to you know what I'm referring to. Directly opposed to gravity at the equator. I'm talking about the forces. <clears throat> a little cotton mouth going on. 45 degree angle again, yes, and then back to the direct opposite there. If Earth were a rotating sphere with gravity, all seas would follow the force vector to the equator. The force vector is these lines here, actually, or the vector between these two lines. When, and if you're 90 degrees opposed, your vector is 90 degrees sideways. There's nothing stop, stopping this motion. When you get to here, well, then you've got some of your gravity pulling down to center, but you've still got your angular velocity pulling straight sideways. And if it was solid, then something would stay put there if this was all one solid thing. But any liquid can't uh, hold its shape. It has to go into the shape of what it's in. And the forces would clearly, right there, the 45th parallel is where it proves it. The water in this area was going to slosh this way, obviously, until it got to here. And this is the greater radius from the center. That water would then go up into the air. And because gravity is the weak force, then as the water slung off of this, as you see a tennis ball do when it's hitting the rain, the, the water would never actually balance with the gravity. It would be propelled off into space unless gravity were strong enough to hold it to the ground against the force of the angular velocity. And it's not. I mean, the, the, the forces as measured are... Angular velocity probably trumps uh, everything except electromagnetic bond, really. It can, it can pull anything apart at enough speed. You know, things fly apart all the time. Okay, I'm done. I'm rambling on for too long now. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching my channel. Fight the good fight. Fight, beat, bite the unbeatable, beat the unbeatable foe. And all that good stuff. And uh, try to stay out the cams. Kimberly T. Rails, and um, you, you know the spiel. This is my normal stuff. Have a nice night.